like staring into the abyss. The abyss of single eyeshadows. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing yet a, another declutter, and that is my single eyeshadows. I have way too many single eyeshadows that I don't use. I just find that I don't reach for them the same way that I do palettes. You don't think, oh, well, I've got this whatever, you know, single eyeshadow. And so I am going to declutter and hopefully get rid of a lot. So we'll see. Thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, tap that notification bell to get more marvelous videos. And let me know in the comments below what kind of declutters you would like to see. So let's get to it. I got this big old thing full of eyeshadows. I already decluttered it once last year, so let's do it again this year. Booyah. Right off the top, some that I know I'm not going to get rid of are these NYX Primal Color shadows. I'm actually wearing hot pink in my crease here today. Absolutely love these. Ooh. Nothing broke. We're good. We're good. I have hot pink, hot green, hot blue, hot yellow, hot red, hot fuchsia, and I think, nope, nope, and hot orange. I absolutely love these. The formula of these is amazing. They're smooth, pigmented. I use these regularly, keeping these. I have a bunch of single eyeshadows from Tarina Tarantino. I'm actually wearing this one, Candy Cameo, all over my lid. Absolutely love it, keeping that. I have Tokyo Hardcore, love this whole collection. Oh my goodness. This is a really pretty and unique green, keeping that. I have Peacock Pearl, ooh, right up my alley, 80s chic all the way. Electric Butterfly, ooh, ooh. beautiful orange with shimmer, keeping that one, and then Bibarucci, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> Beautiful bronzy gold, keeping those. Let's see here, some ones that I am probably, uh, I don't know. These are the Marc Jacobs Tonight Light Single Glitter Eyeshadows. This one is in stage light. What the? Excuse me? That's like nothing, oh my goodness. No, no, that is sad, that is sad. We are passing that one on. I have another one in black light, looks like that. Maybe this one's a little bit, eh, it's a little bit better. Not, you know, blowing me away. Eh, it's kind of a nasty patchy black. That's, that's really disappointing, passing that one on. And then finally, I have ultraviolet light. This one is a beautiful purple maroony. Pigmentation on these are crap. Oh my goodness. It's just kind of a light kiss of color with a crap ton of glitter in it. Passing on that one. I've got these two here from Real Color. Now these, it's a little teensy tiny disappointing because as you can see, it's got glitter, but you can see where I've used it. So the glitter is just an overspray, but even the shadows underneath, they are so pigmented, beautiful. Ah, oh, these are just absolutely stunning colors. Keeping these really like them. Then I have a couple from Jessie's Girl, Mineralized Baked Powder Eyeshadow. I don't think, yeah, these do. Esmeralda, that one. I have Plum Frost, Ocean Breeze, and, oh, that's it. I am keeping all of these. I really like the formula of these, and so, 
keeping those. Gotta keep them separated. Now I've got some single shadows from NYX. These are their prismatic shadows. I really like the formula of these, so I'm probably keeping them all. This is Fireball. This is Liquid Gold. And then I have, let's see here, Blue Jeans. This one is absolutely stunning. This is actually the one that got me started on all of these. My Bewitch on Instagram posted this and I was like, oh, I have to have that. And then I also have Bedroom Eyes. I have Golden Peach. This one's really pretty. I have Mermaid. Love that name and the color is beautiful. Punk Heart and Jaded. Keeping all of these, I really love them. And I have two more from Tarina Tarantino. This one is Victorian Punk. Absolutely beautiful purple with that gold reflect in there. Keeping this one and then this in Sweetser. I'm not even kidding. That's what it's called. But this is a beautiful green. Oh my goodness. Love that. Absolutely stunning. Keeping it. Not doing so well on the getting rid of. Here is, let's see here. I'm including my NARS duos just because I don't consider these eyeshadow palettes. So I keep them with my single eyeshadows. This is the NARS Christopher Kane collaboration in Parallel Universe. Looks like that, really pretty. Let's get some swatches in here. I've never used this. That's not very impressive. And then this shade. That's not very impressive either. That's like a little of glitter on your face. That is, oh my goodness, I can't believe. I went to like high heaven to get a hold of this and it's just kind of, Oh, this pains me, but I don't think I would ever use those colors for anything. I just, I'm gonna pass on this one, gonna let it go. Now I have a bunch of the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow. These used to be all the rage on YouTube and I went through hell and high water to actually get the whole collection. I know that seems freakishly obsessive and I just don't reach for them. I've already decluttered my collection probably once or twice. So let's see here. I've got Bella Gold. I mean, I have gold eyeshadows that I really like. So I'm going to pass on that one. I have Bella Sky. That one's really pretty. What does it look like? I mean, these are nice. I mean, they're just not extremely pigmented as I would like. I'm gonna pass on Bella Sky. Got Bella Copper. This one I'm not a huge fan of because it has a lot of fallout and a lot of chunky glitter going through it. So I know I'm passing on that one. I have Bella Rouge. That's really pretty. And once again, not as pigmented as I would like. So I'm actually gonna pass on that one. I have Bella Diamond, looks like that. What does, what, what does this one do? Eh, eh. It's okay, I mean, it would make, make a nice brow bone highlight, but I have other shades and in palette, so this one is kind of unnecessary to have. Bella Rose, that one, ooh, matches my hair today. Let's see here, that's really pretty. That would actually, would that make a cool pink highlight? That one might make a cool pink highlight. I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile. Then I have Bella White, which I think is like the only, is this even matte? I guess it's kind of matte, yeah. It's okay, I mean, nothing to write home about. I'm gonna pass on that one. And then I have Bella Pink. Ooh, look really pretty. Maybe this one will be a cool highlighter like the other one. Let's see here. Oh, that might be a really pretty highlighter. It's that one right there. That's really pretty. Gonna put this one in the maybe pile as well. And then I have Bella Violet. I searched so hard for this one, it is so so pretty. 
Ooh, so pretty, 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 pretty. Running out of room to swatch. That one's, <laughs> they all seem so amazing when I originally got them, but now they're just kind of like, eh. Gonna pass on that one too. And then Bella Sand. This one, the same with the Bella Gold, kind of has a lot of chunky glitter and whatever in it. So I'm going to be passing on that one. All right, some shadows that I know I am going to keep are the Kat Von D Metal Crush Singles. I absolutely love these shadows. This is in Thunderstruck. It is an absolutely gorgeous eyeshadow, an amazing highlighter as well. Keeping that one. This one is Electric Warrior. Oh, love these so much. Keeping that one. Dazing, I think, no, Danzig, what kind of name is that? Oh, so beautiful, I live for these. I love the formula, the pigmentation, they look amazing. Thrasher, oh, I mean, can you see those reflex? It's absolutely stunning. We have, d d d I don't even know how to pronounce that. This one, really pretty, keeping it, love it. Then we have, ooh, Static Age. This one I get a lot of use out of. Oh, just this beautiful reflective silver. So heavenly. Oh, this one, love this one. Paranoid. Oh, can you get any bluer? I don't think so. Then we have Synergy. Just, ah, oh, if I ever wanna just kick up my neutral game, I get one of these neutral shades and pop it in. It makes the look so special. Iggy, ah, emerald, love it. And then this one is so great. Black number one. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just like such a special black. Oh, absolutely stunning, love it. I've got a single from Makeup Forever. This is in the shade 167. It looks like that. It's really pretty but i honestly it's like oh wait that's really pretty oh my goodness okay i'm gonna keep this one i've got some more nars duos i have rated r it's really pretty but i don't use it i have other blues and greens that i like that i like the formula more so i'm going to be getting rid of mad mad world then I have in, no, that was that was rated R, not Mad Mad. This is Mad Mad World. Oh my goodness. Once again, really pretty, but I have other shades like this green for that. I'm keeping this blue. I've got the blue from Kat Von D. I don't need this one. The formula isn't my favorite, so we're going to get rid of this one. Then I have Sugar Land, and this one I have tried to use kind of in the same vein of that Christopher Kane one where the pigmentation just isn't there. It looks really pretty in the pan, but going through it on your eyes is just a pain. Then I have Kauai. Really pretty, but the glitter falls out really bad even when you use like a glitter glue. So I don't reach for this one because it is a pain to work with, so I'm going to pass on that one as well. What's happening with all my NARS, oh my goodness. And China Seas, I wanted to love this one so much. Just the colors were absolutely beautiful. And the pigmentation is okay, they're not terrible. I find NARS eyeshadows to be very stiff and difficult to work with, at least in these singles, but I just, I'm not keeping it to have all the frustration, so I'm passing on that one as well. And here comes the real haul, my Urban Decay Single Eyeshadows. I collected these way too much when I first started makeup, so let's go through. I'm not going to swatch these because that would just take forever. I am going to keep the shade Height. I absolutely love this. I use it all over the lid keeping that one. I have the shade Fishnet. Mine actually came depotted, <laughs> which is actually what I need to do to all of these. But like that one, really pretty. 
I am keeping X. This is absolutely gorgeous. This peachy gold shade. Love that one. Keeping it. Riff, I love. It's this like demi matte with glitter going through it. Love that one. Keeping it. I have Zypher, which is a beautiful, very similar to the Kat Von D Thunderstruck. So if that's out of stock, definitely look up this one. It is abs, I just said I wasn't gonna swatch, but it's that same intense white with that shift duochrome going through it. Absolutely love that one. One of my personal favorites, Free Love. I just love these peachy tones. Absolutely love this color. Keeping it. I have Psychedelic Sister, keeping that one, an absolutely beautiful purple. And we have, oh, Radium, love this color. I went to several different Ultas to get a hold of this color, absolutely love it. And I love the formula of the Urban Decay Single Shadows. I find that they're all pretty consistent. S and M, love this, one of my favorite, favorite shades of an eyeshadow ever. Just this beautiful gray and the same with this desperation shade. I'll take S and M all over the lid and then I'll deepen it up with this desperation. Absolutely love it. Then I have Maui Wowie. This one, it looks really pretty in the pan, but it comes off just kind of like a sheer wash of glitter. So this one really wasn't my thing. Going to pass on that one. Then we've got ACDC. Uh, it's a pretty purple, but not one that I think that I would really reach out for a lot. So I'm gonna declutter that one. Then I have Smog, love this color. This is such a gorgeous burnt brown gold amazingness, keeping that one. And then I have Roach, once again, a beautiful deep maroon red, love this color, keeping it. Then I have Backfire, oh, one of my favorites. I mean, can you just see? Some of these I just have to swatch because they're so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Heaven sent. Then I have Mildew, which is pretty, but I find that I don't go for these colors of green anyway. And I'm keeping Jaded, which I think is more on the color spectrum that I want. So I'm getting rid of that one. I have Blunt which it's pretty, but eh, gonna pass on that one. <laughs> Tonic, love this one so much. Keeping that one. Then I have Sideline, and I actually, yep, yep, that's what I thought. I have two <laughs> of the same color. Oh my goodness. I am sad and pathetic. Gonna declutter one and keep the other. Then I have Bender. Going to keep that one once again. It's a green, but more up my alley for what I would use. Just a few more. We're making progress. I have Evidence, which is really pretty, but I don't like it nearly as much as Radium. So I'm going to pass on Evidence. I have Easy Baked. These are really pretty, but I'm pretty sure I have these in my Naked palette. So I'm gonna pass on that one. I have Deep End, one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadows from them. Absolutely stunning, very unique, love it. Then I have Fireball, another favorite. I love this, I'll use this all over my eye and then I'll use the highlighter from the same name on my cheeks and it looks so cool. I love going monochromatic. Obviously, as you can tell, I have Beware, an absolutely stunning matte. I love this shade, it's absolutely beautiful. I have Gravity, uh, it's a pretty purple, but I don't reach for it, so I'm gonna pass on that one. Same kind of goes for Asphyxia, which is kind of sad because I went like, forever finding this. It was sold out because it was a really popular shade when I was getting into makeup, but 
it's just a little too sheer so I'm gonna pass on that one Rockstar love the name don't love the color it's just a little too I don't know just doesn't jive with me so I'm gonna pass on that one and then I have lounge oh my goodness this is so beautiful if you're looking for the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette that is that insomnia shade this is the same deal so go out and get you some lounge keeping that one dive bar we're hitting all my favorites love that shade keeping it hijack another all my faves have been at the bottom of this thing love this shade keeping it then I have flash an absolutely gorgeous purple this is probably my favorite purple ever keeping this one and then loaded another wow all my favorites really are on the bottom absolutely love this shade here stunning we have snatch mm, it's okay looks really pretty with my my wig today but i'm gonna pass on that one and then i have omen love the name of this but it's just it's only like a little you know not very pigmented which was kind of disappointing so i'm passing on that one and last but not least i have these singles from makeup forever i really need to get a z palette because these are just singles you're supposed to get the things that click into it and i didn't realize that but this is the shade 1918 absolutely love this I use it pretty regularly when I want to do a nice pastel purple look I have this blue one here that is 206 use this one a lot as well and then I have this kind of green one that I feel like I don't need since I'm keeping that Kat Von D one and this is the shade D206. Getting rid of that one. So the final toll is I am keeping 65 and I am getting rid of 31. Not the best declutter ever, but if I don't use them again or if I don't put them into a Z palette or something like that and get more use out of them, I will definitely do another declutter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what declutter you would like to see next. I absolutely love doing these. Thank you guys so much. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah.